let's that gets us to topic two because that's the quality of the MLS as opposed to the times. I know that they'll tell you that time's been all over the place and we'll see with Apple with time's going to be set for Saturday nights uh, at 730 mostly and then a few Wednesdays. Uh, but uh, the quality of the game needs to be there. Um, and so overall, and so look, we talked about this a lot and this is a topic uh, that I'd heard too, like some people associated with MLS have, you know, we've kind of messy to MLS has sort of been out there and that rumor gained some steams with the times of London saying that he's coming to, uh, to Miami, uh, to play for inter Miami, David Beckham's team, and it's probably for a trillion dollars. And this is where we get into media and where you look at the Apple deal and they've been talking about selling subscriptions around the world. Well, if you're going to do that, you can tell me Messi's old. You can tell me uh, ML MLS is a retirement league. He's messy. This is Michael Jordan, guys. So uh, if I were wanted to sell subscriptions around the world, he's the guy I'd get even at 35 years. I think he's 35, 35 years old. Uh, and it seems like they're going to get him with the Apple deal coming up. And you can't tell me that there's not a bunch of kids or a bunch of people around the world who still want to see Messi and might you know, put down $15 a month. I'm not saying a hundred percent will work. You know, they might just want to see the highlights, but it can't hurt. Now, Grant, they're going to be paying him a boatload of money and who knows about ownership and they've probably given him the world. Uh, so financially, does it work out for them? I'm not sure. But in terms of uh, getting someone popular, uh, it's a pretty good move. Is it a bad move? Uh, of course not. I mean, it, it's probably a good move, but I, I do want to caution a, a little bit we MLS has tried this before. I was at David Beckham's first game. It was an RFK stadium in DC when he was with the, I, I believe it was a galaxy, right? Um, here in DC, we had Wayne Rooney. I know it's not messy, but Wayne Rooney is big in England. Uh, didn't create a ripple here. And, and, and in fact, uh, the local ratings for DC United, even while he was doing some uh, amazing play on the field, were getting hashtags. They were so bad that the, the RSN down here, didn't didn't take free rights, you know, because they they would have to pay for the production and 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 passed on it. So we've seen this before. We still have to th figure out how to grow the game in America with with the, you know the best players. The most true thing you said in that they're not messy. Okay, <laughs> those guys, I, they're great. They're they they. Uh, I, I I'll even suggest bend them like Beckham. Beckham was a bigger name than Messi it's to the American that. consumer. It's just Messi, again, for the soccer fan. I know, but yeah, yeah, the so you've Messi, already like, got the like soccer fan, comes... Andrew. You're, you need to get the, the other consumer. No, 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 but this is, but when you're talking about Apple, you, and this is what we talk about with subscription and why subscription works, when you're trying, when you can reach a billion devices. Now, you know, I did that math the other day. If you're reaching a billion devices, you need 0.25 percent of those people to get to the 250 million dollar number you have messy it's like having taylor swift exclusive now again a couple of things messy has to be into it can't be hurt all the time not playing he's got to be into it uh they're going to bring a couple of players it's got to feel like it's a real league look ml mls is always going to have a problem because they don't have um relegation you know that that hurts the league in terms of viewing which is when the bottom four teams can go down. And then in terms of like other leagues, the European leagues, they're always playing to get into champions league or into Europa. And it just creates excitement. It's a really, they don't have playoffs, but they, it creates excitement throughout the year. It makes every game kind of like college football once was very important. Uh, but if Messi, but Messi is special to watch play. And you're saying, well, yeah, you need people who like soccer. And I think that's like getting back to the Fox thing. Yeah. Stop trying to get the person who doesn't like soccer. That doesn't work. The people who like football like football. Now, yeah, there's betting, there's fantasy, and that stuff brings people in, but it's the storylines, and that's what you need. And look, Messi's is a good move. I mean, it's, I mean, obviously, it's a good move. How much they're going to bang him and all that stuff, the financials behind it. But if you're trying to grow the league, and I've mentioned Messi, I've written columns about Messi in terms of MLS and what it could do for it, but when you, and you're talking about subscription, this makes more sense, you know, because you're selling to the world. Um, and you want to become a world league and it just, yes. Is it messy going into retirement in MLS? Yeah, it is. But I'd rather watch Messi. If Messi, when Messi comes to play NYCFC, I'm going to be looking at my calendar uh, and seeing if I can get there.